Hi all, this is video 2 on my chess series on checkmate patterns. Here I'll discuss Morphy's mate. This was named after one of the best chess tacticians of all time, Paul Morphy. Now as you see on the board, this kind of mate requires an open G file and an open diagonal for the bishop to control. This can be achieved quite easily if the G7 pawn guards a piece. So once such a piece gets captured, the G file can be opened, as you see here. In this case, uh, either way it's mate, whether the queen is captured or not. Suppose G7 captures queen. Then we have rook G1, check, king H8, followed by the bishop, which delivers the mate. Bishop captures F6, mate. There's another interesting way to reach Morphy's mate. In this position, the black king looks quite safe in its castle position. However, white has a forced mate in four. Can you find it? Well, white starts with rook captures g7. Check. And the king has to go to h8, the only square. If white just plays something like rook g1, black can respond with f6. And after all the smoke is cleared, there's no mate anymore. Many people end up getting stuck here. Hence in this position, uh, let's go back. In this position, uh, white should play rook captures f7 so that king g8 is forced after which we have king h8, rook g1 and now this is mate. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Uh, what would you play here as white? The king in the corner and the open G file suggests the possibility of Morphy's mate, but queen f6 cannot be played right now since it's protected by the black queen. I mean f6 is protected by the black queen. So let's try to attack it. White can play rook e8. If the queen moves off the 8th rank, it's rook captures rook mate. So black needs to take here with the queen. And now f6 is free, so queen can occupy f6, queen f6, check. And the king has no space to run, so the rook has to interpose on g7. And now queen captures rook, is checkmate. Alternatively, white can play it another way. He can start with uh, rook captures rook. And now the queen will have to capture the rook. Uh, there's no space for the king again. And we have the same sequence and we end up with rook e8 mate check out this position it's white to play notice that this position is quite similar to one of the previous ones we were discussing uh, again white can start with rook captures g7 check but how would white continue after king h8 this time we can't just play rook captures f7 since the bishop is hanging so what is white to do here? White needs to check with the rook. So rook g8 is the move. And now the king has to move. Uh, the rook can't capture the rook because the king is in check. So king captures rook. And now we have rook g1. And it's mate after the queen interposes. Here again it's white to play. And there's a forced mate in 5. Pause the video and see if you can find it. Okay, I'll go straight into the solution now. Uh, first, obviously, rook captures g7. Check. And king captures rook. Then we have queen g5. Check. And king h8. Notice that it's always necessary to get the king in the corner. I mean, if white instead played uh, rook g1, for example, uh, the king could have escaped and gone to f6 or h6, h6. Using the queen here just cuts off these squares, f6 and h6. Yeah, so after king h8, queen f6 sets up Morphy's mate. And then the rook comes in with the final blow. Rook g1, mate. After seeing the last couple of positions, this one should seem quite simple now. It's a forced mate in 6, and it's white to play. You can pause the video and see if you can find the sequence. Let's see the solution now. 
I'll quickly play through the moves. First we have Queen to G4. Check. So Rook captures Queen. Rook captures Rook. Check. Bishop G7. Rook captures Bishop with a check. And now since the F8 square is open, King F8. And then Rook captures H7. Queen G3. So that it can interpose on G8 when uh, the mate is delivered on h8 so we have to capture the queen here and then we have rook h8 mate this actually ends up as anderson's mate but i thought it was interesting so i included it here both these patterns are used together sometimes as in this case okay in this example you'll see that it's possible for the bishop to switch diagonals and get into a position for the mate. This transition is done with constant discovered checks. You'll see what I mean. Here black's queen is sitting on the g-file and that needs to be deflected so, so that our rook can go to g1. So white starts with queen f3. This is a very powerful move since it attacks the queen and rook and more importantly guards the h1 rook which is being attacked. So then black plays queen captures queen after which we have rook g1 check king h8 and then the bishop shifts diagonal by playing bishop g7 check and bishop captures f6 unleashes the rook again and it's checkmate note that this sequence is not forced since after the first queen move uh, queen captures queen is not forced black can instead continue with queen g6 Right now I'm running through Ripka's variation. White is still ahead, but there's no forced mate this time. So it's good to be mindful of such possibilities, since your opponent might not always play what you expect him to play. This is the last position for today. It's black to play. Uh, this is the famous game after which this particular checkmate pattern came to be known as Morphe's mate. Thus, it is quite a well-known position, so some of you might have seen it before. Uh, anyway, let's uh, see what Morphy plays. First of all, he plays Queen captures Bishop. Quite an interesting sacrifice to open the g-file. And then he brings the Rook onto the g-file to check the White King. So now King h1 has to be played. This is followed by Bishop h3. Rook d1, Bishop g2, check, King g1. Bishop captures f3, check, king f1. You can see that this is the same swinging of the bishop as uh, was mentioned in one of the previous examples. And then bishop g2, check, king g1. Bishop h3, king h1. Bishop captures f3. And now this threatens a mate in one. There's bishop g2, which would be mate. So white has to prevent it with queen f1. After bishop captures queen, rook captures bishop, rook e2 was played, rook a1, rook h6, d4, bishop e3, bishop captures bishop, and now rook captures h2, and finally rook g2 would be game over. That's all for today guys. Take care.